Hello there everybody, Oimon here, and welcome back to Heaven's Vault. For what could end up being the last time, I'm really not sure, because if we look at the map, we actually sort of have the location of the vault, or at least in theory. We know for a fact that we have to go to the uh, ancient aquifer and turn off one hopper and activate another hopper in order to create a path to get there. Now, here's the thing. We don't really know for a fact that this is the location of Heaven's Vault. It's where we think that Heaven's Vault is, but we don't know that that's where Heaven's Vault is. There's also several areas around here that I don't seem to have gone yet. I mean, it's worth pointing out that this nebula is like a huge amount bigger than what it originally was because originally we had Iox, we had Elbereth, we had Maerzi, and we had Renaki. And that's it. That's all it was. Those those were the four areas we had. We ended up with a lot more. So this map is much bigger than you think it is. Uh, which is good. Hey there, Jagoth. Welcome, welcome. Um, but in and of itself, I mean, that's fine. You know, I like that it's like that. I think it uh, turned out. I'm still not sold on the whole sailing mechanic thing. I think they could have done that differently and made it better in my personal opinion but it's not bad you know you can you can learn to deal with it such as it is so yes maybe this is the last episode then again it could be that getting to heaven's vault just kicks off like act three of the game or whatever act we technically be on at this point i'm not even sure um so yeah it's uh it's it's interesting because I don't I really don't know where this is gonna go, you know. I mean I could guess, but I don't I don't really have that much in the way of knowledge. It is mostly about working out what went before, and again I've got theories, some of which have been established, like you know the idea that hoppers were used to put people's minds into robots. That was you know big tick mark there. Um, and I, I do think that Heaven's Vault may be a ship full of robots, full of other people's lives and memories, and they're going to try to take over or something like that. Maybe. I'm really not sure. There's so much that it could be, you know. But that's neither here nor there. What is here right now is that we are on Iox. And we can go and see um, Huang uh, for some more translation help. But we also need to go up and see... I've totally forgotten. <laughs> I don't speak to her that often, actually. I'm more or less just off doing my own thing. I've totally forgotten what the hell her name is. Um, Because Alaya is my character. Nope, I've forgotten it. I'll remember when I go back up there. So, yeah. Um, So, the other thing we did find, and you know what? I was thinking about this since Saturday when I last played this. That the book that is currently resting on Huang's desk. You can just sort of see it there behind the, the words, the library. We found it um, on the, where was it? It was the, yeah, Library of Future Knowledge, right? We found it here. And it was a nice, interesting little find because I get the feeling that pretty much every single word we're ever going to need is in that book. I really, really, really wish that that had been the very first thing you were given, right? So you had a book and you didn't understand any of the words in it. Like, because you at the beginning of the game, you don't understand any ancient words. And solving the book would be like your ultimate goal, you know? So it would be like, you know, at the start, you've got like hundreds of, you've got like these huge long sentences. You've no idea what they are. You don't know what any of the words mean. And, um, you know, it, it could be that only words that you've, like, potentially translated or fully translated from other locations can be used to build up what it says in this book. And then that could have been the catalyst for the whole thing. Like, occasionally you have to come back and you have to read through the book and reference different things. And then that points you to new locations and stuff like that. And that would have been a great setup because then you would have had this single point of focus. And because it, it is the thing that the inscriptions in and of themselves 
they're not very well labeled here. You know, because you go, oh, find Huang and Map and Iox and all the inscriptions. There's no good labeling system for all this stuff. Essentially, there's no dictionary. This game needed a dictionary. Like, all of the symbols that you've uncovered, like all the words paired with all of the translations you have or indeed haven't worked out yet. And there isn't that. Like, there should be a dictionary just just for reference and then there should be a more easy to navigate list than this because this timeline thing it's a nice idea but honestly it's not very useful uh you know it's like well i kind of like it but not really like i don't have any use for a timeline here it's not useful to me and that's kind of a shame you know but um apparently this is solvable Oh, apparently I have not solved it. Although I got a lot of these now, so um, hang on. So we could go this. Oh, here we go. This book uh, does no. Hang on. This book tells true story. Hey, look, solved it. Yay! This book tells a true story. Didn't I already solve that one? Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot of ways this game could have been improved. I also, as I previously mentioned, I don't really like this sailing mechanic, like this random maze-like thing. It's not necessary. It, honest to God, half the time it feels like faff. You know, it feels like we're just messing around and we're not doing anything and we're just going, taking ages to go from place to place just to pad the runtime of the game. I already previously mentioned that I think the game would have been better served for just a large open area that maybe certain sections are sealed off from. You know, you can just wander around and find stuff. A bit like um, Skyward Sword. If you ever played Skyward Sword, when you're doing the flying sections on the bird, I forget what the hell they're called, um, you can just wander around and find just random islands and something like that i think would have been better served so i feel like there was probably just a case of too many ideas wandering around you know apparently anyway apparently i can make a remark the robots i met on the hideout moon and said something strange yes Salaya. it said a very darkness was coming what did it mean What do you think? Rember did not lose his life out there without some cause. True. Anyway, I want to have another mooch of that book. Because I'm fairly certain, like I said, this should have been your goal. To translate this book. Let's take another look at this. So if we read from the beginning. Here's the next line. The phrase run together. Yep, I'm pretty sure we're aware of that. Okay, robots um, are your something. Robots are your heart love stranger. It's almost the opposite of stranger. So the opposite of stranger would be friends. Robots are your friends. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, actually it does. Robots must have been a big part of society before. Before they were erased. Because mm. mm. I could literally just spend the entire thing going through this book. Because there's just so many words I could discover here. Okay, what have we got? Alright, so, and, serpents, and serpent's eye is where Um, 
something nebula is oh there we go hmm believe you can be confident of the translation of where right, so we've got and serpent's eye is where something nebula Is where he cross nebula tear is that tear or tear? <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be tear or tear. Um, and serpent's eye is where key nebula is. Vienna is. Cowl is where a cross proximate pilgrim place. So it's sort of um, is where a cross nebula is held. Good work. Serpent's eye. I've been there. Must be where we found the well of Iolite crystals. Keep reading. Next line. I don't even know how many lines this book has. See, that's my point of saying that this should have been the final goal. To translate this book. That would have been such a good thing. So we can put sail there. We're gonna have wind, wind sail into serpent's eye. Hang on a second. Hold. No. Hmm. Nope, that ain't right. Really? Really, I can't do that one. Let's see what's next. Huh. I figured most of these I'd be able to get by now. I don't think that's going to be it. If I try putting that one in there, it'll just go, no, that's wrong. My translation is clearly incorrect. Must be another phrase. It's not of, huh? Will does. No, Will does. Will give. Or will save. Hmm. Doesn't feel right. Not does either. Okay. Oh, hang on. Will save will? Oh. Something will save will. What? Empire will save will? Book place. Save will. That's strange. 
Hmm. How does that make any sense? Their will save will. Maybe it's like part of a longer sentence or something? Shit. Empire? I could literally go for anything on that one. I guess we just try there for now and see what we get. Yeah, we'll say will. I think that's right. Anyway, I could literally just keep going through this for hours and hours and hours, but I don't think I will. All right, is there anything else you can help me with? Made a few finds. Let's have a look. Ooh, decorated sword, etched sculpture. Let's show him the sword. What do you think of this bad boy? Let me take a look. There's an inscription. I read it as, this sword cannot be lowered. Yes, I think you're correct about sword. Yay! Ding! I'm glad you agree. Now, I've seen something a bit like that, if I remember right. And it also had some script. Where is that volume? Yes, this is it. Okay, can we change the camera angles now, please? <laughs> Thank you. It's a sketch of a blunted scimitar with an ornamental blade. It was found while excavating the catacombs here on Iox. Maori, that was it. Maori. Ooh, lots of zigzags on this one. So, blade, maybe? Or eternity? Blade. Nope, that ain't it. Forget that then. Trinity Blade Axe makes sense? Oh well, guess not. Any more like that? Let me see. Nah, nothing comes to mind. I'll take the sword to the archives then. Yeah, alright. Hopefully I won't have to swashbuckle my way out of some kind of problem. Hmm. While he's doing that, I'll have a quick look at one more translation in this. Because I want to be polite and I want to hang around. And I get the feeling I'm about to do something very bad to Iox in the name of fulfilling my duty. Hmm. No, not that one, that one. So it's sleep. That could be friend. Myself. Sleep in something. Hmm. I don't think I have enough for this one. Yeah. But let's see if it allows me to solve it or if it just says, nope, can't be done. I do not think you have enough information to read this. No, okay. See, this is, this is why I say the book should be what we focus on. Because translating the book is really interesting. Like, imagine if you could, you, you know, you had these huge sentences, you have no idea how to read them when the game starts and then as you unlock more words the book makes more and more sense you can use it to find you locations uh like you know maybe maybe rather than just reading the book one sentence at a time you can actually look at books in terms of chapters or just pages you know it wouldn't have to be a giant tome like this but some kind of I don't know, I just, I think a system like that would probably just make more sense for a game like this. I feel like there hasn't been enough of a focus. And that's a shame. But, yeah, it's, I mean, it is what it is. 
you know. Let's get on with my work. Okay, fine, leave it to it. See you soon, Huan. Hmm. The Isle Light aboard Rambo's buried ship was quarried on the Isle that Moon Rambo found. But it must have been quarrying there long before we thought. Makes sense. Interesting theory. We'll be here. Suit yourself. Alaya. If you have a moment, you have your ship buried in dust. Professor, I've discovered how the wellsprings work. They're hoppers. They don't make water. They receive it. The rivers and the wellsprings, they're a closed loop. That's very interesting. Are you saying it was built this way? Did the ancients make the nebula? I don't know. Unless I find a wellspring itself, there's no way to know. Remarkable. Arx is blessed with a strong wellspring. Elbereth is not. You're saying it could be given one? I hadn't thought of that. A hopper eye is a hopper eye. Perhaps one could dig up the Mayersi eye and take it to Elbereth. And destroy Mayersi? <laughs> we wouldn't want that, of course. <sighs> but it's a remarkable idea. Sounds worth investigating. But it's hardly your area, Eli. And I'm happy to hear you're opening yourself to the truth of the loop. It's a different loop. Did you already know about the wells? This is a different loop. Everything is a loop in nature, Eli. The loop sustains all. Oh. So we're not going to, like, warn her that Iox might be about to, you know, lose its water supply or anything like that? Um... Wang told me about an ancient library, maybe? Something he read about in the annals of Mazwai. The library of future knowledge. The library is a sacred site for followers of the loop, Elia. I've already been there. Have you found it? I think so. I've been there. Incredible. This is better than I could have hoped from you. Was it intact? Had anything survived? It had been burned to the ground. Hundreds, thousands of years ago. All we know is lost. All we will forget will be discovered. It gives me great reassurance, Elia. Hmm. Janiki found a huge ship buried in the dust. Much bigger than anything we can sail. A gigantic ship? That's what he found? Just the kind we will soon build, then. Should I tell her about six? There's a problem with the rivers. There's a problem with the rivers? Hmm, that is fair. I think that's a problem with the rivers. The loop isn't complete. Some of the water is being lost. Like the wear of a thumb on the face of a coin that over time smooths it flat. What do you think it means? It can only mean one thing. The rivers are drying up. The temple has been following the progress of the nebula since before the founding of the university. Do not be alarmed, child. The fall is coming, but the loop will sustain. What has this got to do with the fall? Rivers are going to disappear. People are going to die. Ari, the rivers are going to disappear. The wellsprings are going to run dry. I believe you. The only questions are when and for how long. But people are going to die. People die every day. They really do. Every time you blink, someone out there is dying. 
The rivers flow with salts. There must be something we can do. There is. I've told you already. We have to strengthen our walls. When the nebula rises up, we must hold our gates. Something happened to six. I spoke to an ancient voice from the Empire, Professor. It had been stored into a figurine and forgotten, but it was still alive. What did it tell you? You don't seem that surprised. Recordings like that were once common in the Empire. They are all we've left from before the fall. Huh. So I can't warn you that Iox is about to lose all its water supply, is that what you're telling me? Hmm. Well, okay then. Don't say I didn't try. Be seeing you, Aliyah. She always seems a little too blasé about the stuff that goes on. It's weird. I'd almost say she doesn't care, but I think her faith in the loop is a little too strong. Doesn't matter how bad things are now, they'll always go back around to... Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. So let's see where else it says we can go. Because as far as I know, the only place left is to try to go to Heaven's Vault. But as I said, I'm pretty sure doing that will turn off the water to Iox. And I don't want to do that. Well, I'd rather not do that. I mean, if that's my only choice, then that's my only choice. You know, the game's forcing me to make that decision, effectively. But, uh, what you gonna do? Right, let's get back to the river. So Elbereth and the Ancient Aquifer are the only places left. Hmm. Well, we'll go to Elbereth, I guess. If I need to cross it off the list. And then we'll go back to the Ancient Aquifer and hopefully create a way to get to the Heaven's Vault. Assuming that place even is the Heaven's Vault. Oh, you're Zenki. Should be able to take me straight there. L breath. Let's get my butt up there. Is it Cacus? It was. All right. That's the heart of the Citadel. That's what people call it anyway. I don't think anyone's been inside it in centuries. Seems kind of pointless to me, but okay. So we'll see. speak to Tappy, see if he wants anything. Happy. 
I want to show you an artifact. Ooh. Oh yes. This is going to made in the heaven vault telescope device. Hmm. It's a dusty ancient times period metal incense burn. Interesting. It's passable. Still, I can probably shift it, but not for much. Not seen anything quite like that. But I don't have anything worth trading for now. My apologies, Elia. But uh, even the most bountiful font must run dry. Oh. Well, in that case, he's useless at the moment. See you later, Tappy. May your footfalls fall soundly, Elia. To the market. Let's go. Whoop. Okay, we uh anything we can give to her? Be patient. She will eventually show up. Alaya, what can I do for you? I don't know, but the game's telling me I can do something. How's business? Still slow. Don't be a stranger. Oh, was that it? You say, what the hell did the guy that even game even tell me to come here if there was literally nothing either of these two characters could do for me? You know, considering there isn't actually a hopper in that door, it does make me wonder how the hell you're supposed to actually, you know, deal with that. I don't know. Let's get the heck out of here. Back to the Nightingale, I guess. Nowhere left to go except the vault. Let's go. See, now it's saying, oh, look, I could go back to IOPS. Yeah, okay, so it's basically just saying that because those are standard locations you can always go to. Uh, I guess we'll go back there. I just feel bad about sealing off IOPS's water supply. I was hoping we could say to somebody, hey, listen, I'm going to do something to seal off IOPS's water supply. Can you just, like... Give me a day so I can set things right again afterwards. Don't panic while I'm doing it, you know? Like, I feel like we should warn people about this particular fact. Or maybe that's just me. We returned to the forest where the goddess waited. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's just stuff this in there. Simple as that then. Now the water on Iox is drying up. Not yet alive. There is still water in flow. But soon. Poor old Mayari. I wonder how she'll explain this one away to the powers above her. Let's see what happens this time. I can feel the water rising rapidly. This place was built to create rivers from a wellspring below up to the nebula. Rivers to Iox, elsewhere, but the rivers have been drying up and the hoppers filling up with dirt. Is it gonna keep flooding? The new river is beginning to form once more, Elias. Yeah, you, sh you should probably come out of the water. I don't think that's gonna be good for you. Elias, the water appears to have stopped rising. Though the pressure below ground has stopped, and a liar, something is forming in the sky above us. So there's a new river? It would appear so. Perhaps we might go. Do it. Yay, so we left the lonely forest as a new river formed overhead. Hopefully we can like go back there at a later date and undo what we just did. The water from below is disentangling around us. It's beginning to flow. Following some kind of path it is quite beautiful. You can see it? The path? There are lines of force through space. Arcs, grooves in the surface of things. I can see them. The rivers trace their outlines as they flow. We've made a new river, Elia. Or recreated a very old one. Perhaps it will flow all the way to Heaven's Vault. And Iox? The river to Iox is gone. It will not come back. But after we sail this new river, Elia, there is no reason to assume there will be a way back. We better find out. I do not think we have a choice. We are already moving. Yay. Fair enough. So th this could well be end game for all I know. The airless moon where Rember is a stash of finds. Wait, what? Oh no, that's this, isn't it? Heaven's Vault. Summoned a river out of an ancient aquifer. Sailing to the Heaven's Vault. We hope! Where are we going? Where is this vault? We are going far. We are going fast. Ralphie, fly far, fly fast. Hmm. 
Is that it? No, that can't be it. Just more routes to follow, huh? Remember I said a great darkness was coming. What if he meant the rivers? Whoa, okay. Drying up? We already know the nebula has lost whole moons. What if in the end, Iox and Elberth and all the rest will be swallowed by the clouds? Is that why Renbo was looking for an observatory? To chart the loss of rivers? Perhaps even find a way to hold them back? But surely there's no way to stop the rivers drying out. Well, whatever secrets Rember's vault may hold, do not think it's a miracle cure. Perhaps the loop will save us. But look who it is, or look what it is. I'm assuming that's Heaven's vault. It is more probable, Elia, that the nebula is the loop. The loop is coming undone. Yeah, you know, from a metaphorical standpoint, that actually makes a lot of sense. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to stop briefly so we could actually listen to the conversation. There's something up ahead. Let's go down. There's a moon out here. In the dark. We had followed a strange and winding road through the loneliest reaches of space. And on the moon at the end of the path was nothing. It's a desert. I was hoping for, I don't know what. This is where the game started. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Maybe this really is the end. Hope is for imbeciles. Still, I must commend you, Eli. You succeeded where that miserable rat Renba failed. Now we climb. But now, I didn't know if I could return. I was thinking about Huang. He never did introduce me to the annals of Mad's wife. He always said he would. I imagine he is still waiting for the right moment, Elia. I wonder how long it will be before he realizes you've gone. Aang is really going to miss me, I think. We've been friends since I arrived. He would have been your slave if you asked him. It's probably better this way. I think you're wrong. I think I might have broken his heart. Men like that do not have hearts. They are mice. They run on fear and shame. It's an unkind thing to say. Why would that matter out here? I know that shape. Kyobenya. I always said she was truly ancient. Perhaps this is an old road. If there's anything here, but there, but Elia. Not sure you will survive this climb. Your lungs. They've been getting worse. You have sheer lung, don't you? You've always had it. You and every other Albrechtian rodent.
Look around, NK. Doesn't matter out here what I've got. You cannot simply ignore reality. Why not? What difference does it make? I didn't come this far to turn back now. So that's why we got the little stamina meter. The red bar that shows up. It's not stamina, it's because she's ill. It is true, we cannot turn back. There is no river back, but you must also die before the end of your search. Or must you also? Hmm, there's something here. A wooden hatch? I don't as fancy as the one in the forest. Filled with sand. But still, I think it must have once been a well. Guarded by Kibenya. I mean, why would there be a well here now? Hmm. What was this place before, I wonder? Farmland? Field? Rice and pigs under the eyes of Gabenya? Was there a river to this place once? Maybe there was water here again soon enough. The wreck there is further away than it appears. Please do not lose yourself in the open desert. Suit yourself. I was thinking about Timor. Timor wanted me to take over from him. Doing whatever he it is he does on Elvira. Would you want to? Why would I? I don't even live on Alvarez. Anyway, I'm too honest. And you should not consider the matter a moment longer. We get the... Can we actually look closer at this if we get into the... Ah! Kibenya. People back in Mersey would not believe it. Perhaps this is her home. Ooh, an inscription. Something carved here. It's ancient. Although we already know Kibenya. The phrase run together. Even at the end. You're making me do this stuff. Well, this is make something strong. Make is correct. Probably us then, isn't it? Goddesses make. Oh, not us. But I could say harvest. Goddess make harvest strong. That makes sense. People must have lived there then. This must have been some kind of village center. Even if it seems impossible now. This way. And then we began to climb. I fell silent, saving my breath. The robot purred along behind me. The wind offered little secrets and then snatched them away. But something was wrong. Enki? What? Enki, I feel fine. The climb, it's easy. Perhaps I've grown stronger? Or perhaps something about this place has made me well? The opposite is true, Eli. It seems there's something wrong with the gravity here. There's Iolite here? No, Eli. But whatever field the Iolite was storing, the field wraps around this place like a cocoon. 
So there's low gravity on this planet. Huh. This one close enough? What are these things? I've never seen anything like them. They look like guns or cannons. What are they for? Was it a tower? The structure is like the metal crater we found. The materials are quite different. It's ancient. As old as anything. The walls are liar. They're inscribed in some detail. No symbols. Fragments of images in the rust. Enki, can you make anything of these etchings? I will take a look at Can you read it? Sorry. I drew some kind of blunt blade. Carved in later, I think, than the metal was made. Worn down by the sand. Let's wait for her to say something. Still waiting. A liar. I believe I have some sense of it. Tell me a story, Enki. The etchings tell the tale of a group of gods who strode forward across a wide desert from a place of much water, bringing water. They caused the fields here to be fertile for a time. Strode. A god with feet? Perhaps, yes. A village rose up around the god to worship the god. The god demanded tribute. I cannot tell how often. A tribute of people. And then, the god was killed. Killed? You're sure about that? No. That is the inference. But it is only a pictogram. The god is above us. I think this mountain holds the gods too. Well, let's go bother a god. Well, god is a relative term because it could just mean a creature of significant technological prowess. What's that thing? Was it Asimov said? You know, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Hmm. Well, they'll never see it, of course. No one will. A ruin. Not much of a ruin, but still, it's something. I will stay here, a liar. Do not fancy the drop. The giving goddess. There's an inscription. Ooh. I don't actually know some of these symbols. Hi, that's probably not right. I don't think I can get this one, guys. Like, do hi hi? Hmm. I don't know that one. Interesting. I'm almost positive I've like missed phrases and texts and all sorts. There's an inscription here too. Oh my God! 
There's a few words, she says. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I am never gonna get this. I can see us there. That's, um, hmm, yes. Hang on, I can see again there. Um, I'd say will. Heaven? Say will open something will open it. Darkness there. Do this, truth be told. Um, oh, actually, is that? No, that doesn't work. Never mind. Oh, I can put I there. You almost certainly. Mostly just trying to fill in all the blanks so I can be corrected if anything is. Apparently there's something else I can put in, but I don't know what. Oh wait, I've got another all there. New. Okay. I give up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this one later. I didn't think I had enough for that. I mean, that was insanely long. What time? Oh God, is it four o'clock already? Can't make out any more of it. Well, I know we're right at the end potentially, but I, I don't think this is the end. I don't know. I, gaming instincts are saying perhaps this isn't the end of the, of the game. So we will see what happens. So I'm going to pause it here, go for a quick break. And I'll be back in a minute. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back. Okay, so let's... Oh shit, the game just crashed. <laughs> what the hell? Hold that thought. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> wow, first time I've had the game crash on me. Did it crash or did I accidentally select quit because the game was being a boob? Probably the latter. Right. Now, here's interesting. I was just thinking about it during the break. Oh, I found this necklace outside the hermitage, but I don't know what these things are. What it's made of. Shells. Those are shells. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Where are you going? Please climb carefully. I'm pretty sure this was the start of the game, wasn't it? 
Yeah, this was the start of the game. This is where the game started. Now, interestingly enough... Yeah, you worry too much. Um, yeah, because I'd already made that decision, you see. Didn't we have regular six during this moment? I'm trying to think back to the start of the game. Did we have regular headed six during this section? Or did we have NP with her long flowing hair? I can't remember. Reaching God. But this isn't your temple, is it? This is the summit. This is as far as the path goes. Oh, another inscription. Oh, good. Much shorter this time. <laughs> Broken off. First half of a sentence, huh? say pray for speed something pray for speed sailors merchants sailors pray for speed I could see that I changed my mind but sailors pray for speed Worked up opening. There is something here. To keep people out, do you think? Or keep something in? The seventh god. Seems far fetched. There's something written here. Ancient script. This must have been cut in when the mortar was still wet. But I think I can read it. Or we already know what it means, because that's literally the title of the game. Wait, what? No, that's not right. With sky rises? That's all I can think of. With sky rises? That'll do for now. I thought this was supposed to be the words for Heaven's Vault. Ugh, I wish I could read this cursed thing properly. Only one way in. As far as I can ascertain, yes. But there's more here below. Scratched in. Maybe a warning. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this one's a phrase run together, no kidding. Right, so something God God inside this temple will Nebula Darkness All is darkness? Where's one thing in that circle? Hmm. Something God inside this temple will mm. 
done something wrong. Okay, so it's not active. Oh, really? Can't you just keep a couple of them in there? So it could be like the God inside this temple will darkness is telling me I can at least finish this so that's something huh? For all um. Nope. What did you just cross off? Oh, four. Oh. <sighs> okay, God. This nebula inside temple darkness. Well, all. Is nope, still not enough. What am I missing? Nope. Okay, that translation is clearly incorrect. Must be another possibility. Why are you crossing off this time? With okay, that goes with. All right. Um. Okay, God, this temple darkness inside hmm. Inside this temple will something 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 all in darkness. Nebula. What have I not done? I just keep putting words in until eventually I got nothing left to do. <laughs> I have no problem with brute forcing my way into this. Let me guess, you're gonna cross off is, aren't you? No, you're crossing up Oh, not darkness. Huh. Nebula. Temple. Inside. We got inside this temple will something nebula. There we go. I have my translation for inside to my dictionary. That's good. This is beautiful seventh. I can easily see that as being seventh. Seventh god inside this temple will something nebula until Will shout drink. Will drink. Seventh God inside this temple will drink nebula until all is dark. Seventh 
God inside this temple will drink nebula until all is forgotten. Drink the nebula? The great darkness. Drying up of the rivers. This is why Rembo was looking for the vault. Why you were. The seventh god. He is here. Just as we hoped. This is still a temple then. Heaven's vault is a temple. Set here above all other gods. The darkness that Rembo described. The slow disappearance of the nebula. This is it. Whatever's inside here, that's what's doing it. Draining the forces that drive the rivers. Bringing the darkness. Interesting. I can feel a breeze. It must be open on the other side. But open into what? Human. Hmm. Nothing. No ghosts. Or quiet ones, at least. Whoa. Should be enough to climb through. Not for me, Elia. Um, could we widen it? I, uh, walls fall for me. As soft as butter. Here goes nothing. It's beautiful. This is not what I was expecting. It's zooming in on them, but it's not letting me interact with any of them. Like, why, why are you even bothering with that then? No, apparently not. The operation of this door seems simple enough. found it looks like a spaceship is this a spaceship okay another door no handles nothing to pull or push not magnetic alive is it like the Kakis gate? Do I say a word? Uh, Kibenya? By all the waters. What is this place? That's a sudden. The tomb was not a tomb. The mountain was not a mountain. This was heaven's vault. And it was still alive. What's it made of? 
same as the structure on the docking crater moon? I believe so. Okay. This is not exactly what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting something. It was not a giant... It's an arc, isn't it? It's not a vault. It's an arc. This place is a ship? That's what this place is supposed to be, but it's not like any kind of ship I've ever seen. It's more like a palace. Like a generator, a liar. That's what we're inside. So is this going to be that... Hang on. Is this going to be that, like, a liar's people, like the human race, were secretly once a massively advanced species maybe with like interstellar travel and stuff and something happened and they were f forced to live in the nebula and they like technologically devolved over millennia to the state they're currently in because they quote keep losing the past oh that's entirely possible this is older than anything we've ever seen. Must be original. As much as anything can be, this is. Oh, but what? Who? Huh? It said something, but I couldn't understand a word of it. Or maybe the nebula wasn't always a nebula. Maybe the nebula used to be a planet. What's that thing saying? There are robots here. Doing what and why? They are mindless. Ants. This way. Or not. Where did it go? You're not excited? That there are more? This is a graveyard. Hmm. I'm not even going to bother trying to translate alien text. The stairs keep moving. I think if I wait here long enough it'll come back I wonder the gravity outside was wrong this moon is hollow that makes sense if we wait a bit more time it should assuming my theory about it being timed was indeed correct This is incredible. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Like nothing anyone has ever seen. Two possibilities. I haven't moved yet. Let me try one second. Walkways over empty space. Are they stable? They've been stable for thousands of years. If it moves again, then it must be reacting to my presence. This is the mountain. This is the inside of the mountain. Yeah, I know. God damn it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. It's over there now. Sadly, I don't have a run button. Literally on the other side of the area. I feel like that's cheating. Hmm. 
get into the middle. We need to get into the core. That's what we got to get into. So what is is this a ship? I mean, I've heard the term ship, power generator. These robots seem particularly dead inside. If that thing disappears as I get close to it again, then I know that thing's moving deliberately. Hmm. God damn it. Where have you gone now? Oh, there you are. All the way around there, huh? So, I could be wrong, but it seems like every time I pass one of these archways, it disappears across quickly. Seems to have gotten the timing right on this one, at least. Yeah, quick, before it changes its mind again. I've got to get into the middle. Still, the dead robots. Oh, we found something. God only knows what, but we found it. What do you make of this? It's central to this whole space. Move aside, why? Oh god, what the hell is she gonna do now? Enki Hua Micus. Enki? Um. Okay, so she's speaking in the ancient language now. En en NK? Are you remembering something? Whoa, okay. Zephar. Welcome, Overseer. Tell me. Do you wish to vault? <laughs> okay, we have another one. To vault. By the goddess. Do you wish to vault? Can you tell me what this place is? I am the Heaven's Vault. 65% of the core is now recovered. Please answer the question, Elia. Do you wish to vault? Are you absorbing the rivers? The great darkness. The rivers disappearing. Are you doing it? 66% of the core is recovered. Please, Elia. It hurts. Do you wish to vault? To vault? What does that mean? A viable, proximate system has been located. A lensing singularity is available. Refraction error is minimal. Do you wish to vault? And I can turn this thing off. I get it. It wants me to go into a robot body too. Stop. Entropic loss during recovery has been significant. Further loss will render vaulting impossible. This miserable ship wants your assistance. It's a pathetic supplicant. 
believes that allowing the core's energy to simply dissipate will cause great harm. But to vault will also cause harm. It is bound by this ethical core to decide, but it cannot. It is in agony. I find indecision quite disgusting. So what happens if we vault? Decay. Entropy is inescapable. The rivers will inevitably run dry. But we will be elsewhere. The overseer must answer the question. Do we vault? So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I need to pause and think about this for a second. So, vaulting means leaving, going elsewhere, presumably, allowing the nebula to slowly die, question mark? Um, that's weird. So, my options are run away or break the system. I think those are my options, to run away, to, quote, vault, to somewhere else. And... It, it allows the system to keep doing whatever it's doing. Is it presumably the one responsible for taking the water? Because it talks about core recovery. So perhaps the core is the water. Perhaps it's recovering the water from the nebula, maybe. Oh, God. So vaulting would allow that process to continue. The nebula would eventually run dry. Everyone in the nebula dies, but we survive. Or we break it, presumably dooming ourselves because we can't leave the planet that we're on. We can't leave the little ball of rock. Um, so it's either save ourselves and let everyone else die or will die and save everyone else. I'm assuming, I could be overgeneralizing that. Um, I wish to vault, walk away. Shut it all down. Whatever this place has been doing to the nebula, it stops now. You are quite certain? No, I'm not. In the long term, the decision offers no hope. Rivers are being taken from us. The rivers are being taken from us. That has to end. Nothing can maintain the rivers forever. Entropy will cause them to decay. The energy within will be lost forever. Why do I have to choose? Because you are here. Because you can decide. If Renber had found this place, he would have decided. I still don't understand. The rivers are being drained to recover the ship's core energy. The process has taken thousands of years, but the ship still has an ethical core. It can't take the decision to vault because of the cost. Vaulting means traveling away? Leaving everyone behind. Everyone. When the river fails, they will be lost. Only we too would escape. But what happens if we don't vault? The rivers fail, and all are lost. Okay, yeah, so I was more or less right based on that summary, so... But here's the thing, they did say that necessarily, shutting down the machine won't stop the decay of the nebula anyway. It'll slow the decay down, but it, it won't necessarily stop it so if you get a choice between save yourself and then everyone else dies or 
everybody including you dies. I think that's the option that's being presented to me. Unless I'm totally misunderstanding that. That's... I mean, technically, that's not really an option. I almost want to vault just to see what happens at this point. Because it's like... I know, technically speaking, shutting it down is the nice thing to do. Because potentially the nebula could recover. Maybe? I don't know. It's... It's really weird. I feel like there's so much that we don't understand here. Like, all the stuff that's happened before, what the hell does that have to do with anything that's going on here? You know? There's so many just giant question marks left in the story. And this this is clearly the end. Like, I would be genuinely surprised if there's anything beyond this. And I'm like, I feel really unsatisfied with this conclusion. This doesn't feel good. This feels cop-out-ish. <laughs> oh, God. Um... I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? I mean... <sighs> my conscience is saying shut it down, but my curiosity is saying vault. Um, so, I don't know. It's it's weird because, like it says, it does say that shutting it down doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to be okay. It just means that we have more time to slowly die. So rather than it taking, say, you know, 100 years for the nebula to dry up, it's going to take 200 years or whatever. At least that seemed to be the implication because entropy... Uh, I don't know. And also, where the hell are we vaulting to? Uh, I... Uh. The rivers fail and all are lost. I wish to vault. I refuse to decide anything. Can you just refuse? Yeah, it did just dawn on me. This feels like a very Mass Effect 3 thing. I can either press the blue button, the green button, or the red button. They're even in the same order as well. That's Sorry, that just popped into my head when I was looking at that. Um, you know what? Just for curiosity's sake, I'm thinking let's vault. Just... Just to see what happens. It probably won't show anything, you know? It'll probably be like, oh, we're just gonna, you know, fade to white out and then we'll go somewhere and that'll be it. Because that's exactly what I do at the end of this. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna vault just because I'm really curious. And I wish to vault. If there's any way to save the nebula, it's out there. We've come this far. Can't turn back now. There's no way back to the nebula anyway. All that's in the past. And who knows? Maybe they out there will find a way to come back. As you wish, shall I? Stories don't have tidy beginnings. The past is always present. Empress NK, I feel giddy. But the past is just another story. We are moving, Elia. Where are we going? We are leaving. Leaving the nebula. One that we can always leave behind. Mm. Unsatisfactory ending is unsatisfactory. Ah, 
Every time I think I like this game for some of its decisions, it makes another decision that I really fucking hate. And I... I have never been so 50-50 split on a game before. Like, it's... That feels like the kind of ending that was done because they clearly ran out of time on production. Like, you get so many games that do that. You know? So many games that have a lackluster ending because they just didn't have time to work on it. You know? Because, you know, they had a production deadline and they just had to pump out what they had. Oh, that is frustrating as fuck. I, I am curious whether we can continue from that and see what the other ending is. Probably not. This definitely feels like the kind of game that will just say, all you can do now is start New Game Plus. I have heard there is a New Game Plus mode, and you basically keep your dictionary from the first run through, and like all the translations are now much harder sentences, with, ex with exceptions of a few of them that are like story-related ones. Uh, so you can sort of expand your dictionary. And that's a nice idea at least. But yeah, it's just like... I feel like this game had so much potential in it. And I feel like... A lot of it was ruined by some very clunky game mechanics. And... I guess some just slightly off design ideas? I literally have no idea what that says. It's, it's such a strange thing. It's like... Are you going to let me translate this or are I just going to stare at it? It's, it's such a weird thing. Because, like, the translation thing actually works out pretty well. You know, like, you're given four possible options for a word. And you can, you know, pick one. And then the more you see that word, the more likely you are to be correct about it you know if you see it once well maybe you got lucky and guessed it correctly or maybe you just had to guess and you know see oh hey look we can move the credits around it's one of those games i always like it when credits do that it's always strange um so yeah it's <laughs> Okay, what I liked about the game, I liked the translation. As I said, the translation mechanic worked really, really, really well. I did like the adventure aspect, where you could go and discover all these new locations, and some of them were, like, really impressive. Like, you know, when, when you first go up that hill at the Serpent's Eye, and you just see this giant dish, and you're like, holy fuck, what is this? That was amazing. I loved that moment. It gave you a real sense of adventure to the game. But then there were other elements of the game I really didn't like. Like the the sailing aspect. I like the idea of sailing around a nebula. I didn't like the way it was presented. Like I said, they should have just given you a nice open world. So you could sail wherever you wanted to. And just uncover things. And like, maybe the game would... Okay, there'd be like large storms. Like large banks of cloud. And you wouldn't be able to enter that area until you knew there was something in there. And then you'd have to go through like a, a mini game where you had to follow the instructions in order to navigate your way through the nebula bit. Um, that probably would have worked out a bit better. Um, as I said, I think the book should have been your key. Rather than the book being like one of the last things you find in the game. That should have been like number one and so your goal ultimately was to translate the book and each like chapter of the book should have been something like new giving you a new location or something like that and you had to translate certain parts of it in order to be able to locate it or something like that um which it would have needed like a tweak to how the sentences were presented um i really didn't like the timeline thing a novel idea but so useless like you don't need a timeline at no point in this game did i ever need a timeline to say yeah i vaulted my life here we go yeah see look i mean it's a nice idea but i never needed this you know 
I, I never once said, yes, okay, let's do this. Um, which is a shame. I, it, it's, it's a nice idea, but useless. It, it was ultimately useless. You needed like a proper dictionary. You needed, um, you, you needed a proper list of all the translations listed in just a nice plain text format. This thing, it looks great, but it's ultimately useless. And yeah, you just, I just, I just don't, don't need it. Don't want it. Go away. It's, it's pointless. Uh, I don't know. Mm. All right, so where are you going to punt me off? Can I continue from the old one? Like I said, this feels like the kind of game where you can't do that. Those are the temple where the gods have gathered the gates. Deep pools and my boat. Souls of the year sail with me. Book of the dead. I'm pretty sure that's how the game started. Yeah, start new game plus, and you can delete your save too. So yeah, it, it's only going to let me start the game again. So that's, oh, that is so frustrating. I don't know, maybe it would make more sense with a new game plus. Like, the ability to be able to actively read stuff would probably make a lot more sense. But I don't think I've, I want to give this game an, a second playthrough. Not on stream anyway. I probably will in my own time. But I don't think I've got the patience, frankly, to go through this game again on stream. Um, so yeah, that was Heaven's Vault. There was a lot of potential here. And it hit some things in a dead bullseye, and other things it missed the board entirely. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. I honestly, honest to God, what I really hope is that this game sells well enough that the developers can take the concept and make a sequel because hopefully they'll have learned like some of the lessons from this and we get like a heaven's vault 2 you know they can develop a new language they can give us new characters new setting new story just everything new but with the same oh you're someone translating the past mechanic but with other mechanics attached to that and i think they could if if they really wanted to they could genuinely make something really interesting out of this. Because the whole the, the fact that they have made an entirely new language for this game was what drew my attention to it in the first place. You know? I really liked the idea that a developer went out of their way to do that. And yeah, I, I think there's a lot of potential here. They just need to work on it. They need to workshop their idea, come up with like a new language or something like that. And, um, yeah, you just need to work everything out. Hopefully, anyway. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <sighs> yeah, it's just the story, the, the way that ending story ended, it's so frustrating. I hate it when games do that. There's no finality to it, you know? You, you you go along like mystery mystery I want answers I want answers no answers just make a choice and you don't even see the end result of the choice it's just it is what it is so yeah anyway that is it that is heaven's vault I guess that's the end of it I, I knew the end was coming soon I just wasn't sure if it was today or not but we shall leave it here that's enough for now and as I said I I may give this a new game plus in my own time, but I'm not going to be doing it on stream. As I said, the, the game was just a bit too frustrating for me. Um, you know, so there you go. It is what it is. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this, and I will see you all whenever I next see you. Take care out there, everybody. Bye-bye.